So, so many people are looking everywhere, looking in all the wrong places for the origin and the root issue of eczema and dermatitis. Is it corn? Was it that time when my aunt yelled at me and hurt my feelings? Was it because I didn't make the JV basketball team? Is it because I don't have the right ointment for my skin? And all the while it's sitting literally right under our noses, down a little further, right here in our guts. All disease starts in the gut with the digestion, especially eczema and dermatitis. In today's video, I wanna share with you guys some insights on how to focus on the root issue, the gut and the digestion, get the gut and the digestion nice and healthy, cleared out and cleaned up, and guess what happens? Eczema, dermatitis, psoriasis, rosacea, leaky gut, IBS, all go bye-bye. <laughs> So probably the biggest mistake I see people make on a regular basis, the people that I work with as private clients, the people who join the group classes, and the people I interact with doing my free consultations and in forums on a daily basis, all struggle with the same thing. They listen to marketing, they listen to other sick people in forums, and they get caught up in focusing 100% on the symptom, the surface of the skin. And they focus their time, energy, and money and resources on things like creams and lotions and potions and pills and going to the dermatologist and doing steroid creams. And it doesn't matter how perfect your topical treatment is, it doesn't matter how much you address the symptom, if the gut and the digestion never changes, meaning you don't change your diet, you don't clean out that backed up pipage, and you don't move your body on a daily basis, the symptom will never change ever. No matter how many drugs you take, no matter how many prescription medications you throw on your skin, if the root problem doesn't go away, if it's not cleared up and changed, then the symptoms will never go away. They will be there forever. So as I mentioned in the intro, and I was kind of joking, but I kind of really wasn't, you guys, and I was this way too, I looked everywhere for the solution and I was focusing 100% on the symptoms, which is the surface of the skin. Now the surface of the skin and what happens on the surface of the skin literally has nothing to do with the root issue. The root issue is the gut and the digestion. Let me give you a little explanation into what I mean. So your lymphatic system is basically your body's sewage system. It carries all of the toxins, all of the junk that your body doesn't want and doesn't need out of the body to the elimination channels, which are your poop, your pee, and your sweat. Now, when the lymphatic system and when your small and large intestine get too backed up with toxins, it can become so backed up that those toxins start dripping and pouring into other places in the body, overloading the body with toxins and disease, and that's when you start to have things like eczema, dermatitis, and then further on down the line, things like cancer, Hashimoto's, and all of the other gnarly diseases that could possibly end your life. So focusing on the root issue is the most important part of healing your skin disease. Um, in order to start the process of healing, you first have to go into cleansing and detoxification, which is the process of cleaning out your pipes. You gotta be a plumber, you gotta get in there and you gotta remove all of the toxins in the body first and foremost, that's phase one. Um, and just a quick side note, phase one, phase two, and phase three is the path to skin disease reversal. If you do not know what I'm talking about, I do have a playlist on my channel that takes you through all the different phases and explains how to do everything. All of the phases are completely focused on the root issue, the gut and the digestion, and it takes you through the process. Um, to find out how to do those three phases, just go to the playlist, watch it over and over again. Be really familiar with it. Also, on the 15th of this month, which is in a couple of days, we are having our group coaching course, and we do teach the three phases of skin disease reversal 
at that course. You can sign up for that at holistichealthactivation.com. So step one in addressing your gut and your digestion issues are going to be cleansing and detoxification. Like I said in the earlier of the video, I have a ton of videos explaining how to do phase one and how to generally cleanse and detoxify your body. There's lots of different tools and there's lots of different methods ranging from water fasting, juice cleansing, intermittent fasting, coffee enemas, salt flushes, the liver cleanse, and having a diet that consists of whole plant foods that help eliminate and detoxify the body. It's a quite simple process. So focus on cleansing and detoxification first. Along with the cleansing and the detoxification, you have to focus on the foods that you're eating. So the reason why the pipes get backed up in the first place is because people's diets are all over the place. The standard American diet is well documented and well known to be pretty much the most horrible diet in the world. Why? Because it's filled with processed food and there is too much fat and too much sugar stuck in the same diet at the same time. For my clients and for the people that I work with, for me, when I reversed my skin disease six years ago, you wanna start off with a cleansing and detoxifying whole food diet approach. Then later on in your healing process, you can move to a more nourishing diet. Again, I explain all this in the phase three video. So you wanna focus on cleansing and detoxification first. Then you wanna focus on your diet and your food. Then from there, some other aspects of gut and digestional health is going to be lifestyle stuff, how much sleep you're getting, how much daily movement and activity you're getting. So those two things people kind of disregard. So if you're in a career or if you have a lifestyle that does not allow you to move your body every single day and does not allow you to de-stress and have some time of rest and relaxation on a regular basis that keeps you overly stressed and over, overly stimulated, you're gonna wanna think about making adjustments to your perspective or even your career if disease reversal is your number one thing. Along with getting better sleep and moving more, we wanna have a holistically healthy approach to life, a balanced approach to life. Daily movement, healthy eating, cleansing and detoxification are the cornerstones of that healthy life, but there's other things that matter too. The people you surround yourself with on a daily basis are gonna add either lots of stress to your life or lots of support to your life. So make sure that you are surrounding yourself with good, healthy people that support your um, desire to be a healthy human. Also, um, if you're using drugs and alcohol on a consistent basis, especially beer and wine and all of that, if you are a big time drinker or a big time drug user, that stuff affects your digestion and your gut health like crazy. It fills your body with those toxic chemicals that will lead to that buildup that then leads to the digestional issues and the digestion related diseases in the first place. All disease starts in the digestion. All disease starts in the gut. Focus on the disease symptoms and you will get nowhere. Focus on the disease root issue and you will cure the disease and the symptoms will go away on their own. So to make this ultra, 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 ultra focused and clear and super easy to understand, focusing on digestion and gut health and doing your best, putting all your energy into those things, the gut and the digestion, you will have success. You gotta address your food, you gotta address cleansing and detoxification, and you gotta move your body and keep your lymphatic system healthy and moving. But if you do those three things and all your focus is on the digestion and on the gut, eventually, if you give it time and you're consistent and you don't stray and you don't jump off the path and you stay on the path, long-term focused approach, the marathon approach. This is a marathon, not a sprint. If you do those things, and you stay consistent, you will cure your skin disease. You will have healthy, clear skin. You will have the symptoms go away and slow down and get smaller and smaller and smaller. The itchiness will go away, the redness will go away, the flaking will go away, but you have to be consistent, you have to give it time, and you have to focus on the root issue and not the symptom. 
That's gonna be it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said earlier in the video, our group coaching course that's gonna go over the three phases of skin disease reversal starts on the 15th. We're gonna give you guys up until the 15th to sign up. Um, go to holistichealthactivation.com to sign up for that class. It's gonna be awesome. We have a few spots available, so if you're interested, go check it out. Also, if you're looking to get a hold of me to have, be a private client of mine, have me lead you through the process of healing your skin, there's a link down below in the description box. Um, for more information, more info, more content, more just tips and tricks on how to cure skin disease, check out my Instagram page. It's Stuart, Rob Stewart in real life. My name is just Rob Stewart. Um, hope to see you there. We can be friends on Instagram. Just don't DM me because I get too many. I can't answer them. Leave comments. Thank you. Namaste. Um, last but not least, if you're new to this channel, remember to subscribe and share. And if you're old to this channel, remember to hit that notification bell. I may have said this already, but I'm going to say it again. Leave your comments and questions down below. I'm going to get to as many as I can. Much love, you guys. I'll be back with many more videos really soon. Adios.